<laughs> Hi, my name is Tara Raftery. I'm a research dietitian and PhD candidate in Trinity College Dublin in Ireland. My primary research interest is the role of vitamin D in Crohn's disease and now I'm just going to run through some data I just presented at DDW 2013 Orlando. So this research that I just presented was looking at the effects of vitamin D supplementation in Crohn's disease and more specifically the effects of vitamin D on hand grip strength which is a proxy measure for muscle function, quality of life scores and also fatigue. So patients with Crohn's disease frequently complain of a poor quality of life, um, muscle fatigue and also general fatigue even when their disease is in remission. I noticed in, through the data that there was some evidence coming out that vitamin D may be related to quality of life in this patient group. We also know that there is a relationship between muscle and vitamin D status as well. So I set up a study which looked at supplementing half of the Crohn's patients with vitamin D and giving the other half a placebo. So the patients weren't aware what they were taking and I wasn't aware what they were taking either. So it was double blind. At zero and three months, what we did was measure their hand grip strength, which is the proxy measure for muscle function. We measured their fatigue levels by using a validated questionnaire and we also measured their quality of life scores using a validated questionnaire. The patients who got the vitamin D were taking 2000 IU per day. So after three months, the patients returned to me and we took all those measures again, including their vitamin D status. So what the data told us was that hand grip strength, both dominant and non-dominant hand grip strength, significantly improved in the patients who were randomized to receive the vitamin D. We also observed that when patients had levels of vitamin D above 30 nanograms per mil, they reported significantly less fatigue, including general fatigue, physical fatigue and mental fatigue. And finally, the third main finding that we found was that when patients had levels of vitamin D above 30 nanograms per mil, they reported significantly better quality of life compared to those with levels below this. So these, this is pilot data. It has potentially very significant impact on this patient group. So at the moment, I'm coordinating a much larger trial and we're hoping to verify these findings in that patient group as well. Thank you.